Year 13, short revision video number seven. So we have a question here about variable acceleration or acceleration, velocity, displacement, all dependent on time, non-constant acceleration. And we're also working in two dimensions. You can see we've been given the vector components i and j. So the position vector is denoted by r. And in part one, we're asked to find an expression for the velocity at time t. So the fact that it says expression means we're not finding a numerical value for the velocity. We're finding the formula effectively for the velocity. So remember that the velocity vector can be found by differentiating the displacement vector, the position vector, at time t with respect to t. And we need to differentiate the i component and the j component separately. So if we start with the i component, first of all, that's here, differentiating this with respect to time. So 1 differentiates to 0, 12t differentiates to 12, and then we have 12 minus 4t i. So there's the derivative of the i component. And then for the j component, we need to differentiate this part here. So that's plus 2t minus 6j. So there's the expression for the velocity at time t. Now, determine whether the particle is ever stationary. If the particle is stationary, then both components of the velocity vector have to equal 0. So 12 minus 4t would have to equal 0 and 2t minus 6 would have to equal 0. Now, if we solve these two mini equations and we get a consistent value of t, then that's fine. At that time t, the particle is stationary. If we get two different values of t that aren't consistent, i.e. the same, then it's not possible for the particle to be stationary. So the first equation here, very simple, 4t equals 12, t equals 3. So at three seconds, the i component of the velocity must be equal to zero. If we solve the second equation, 2t equals 6, t equals 3 again. So it's very clear that both components, i and j, are zero when t equals three seconds. So we can say at t equals three seconds, the velocity vector is equal to zero and the particle is stationary. We could also have worked out the answer to one of the two mini equations here. So either this one or this one substituted it into the other part to show that we, we still get a zero or otherwise.